Welcome to Rascal Apiary. Today we're making a honeycomb blanket. To begin our hexagons, we'll start with a magic circle. Take your tail end, place it between your thumb and pinky finger, wrap your working end around to make a cross, and hold with your thumb and pinky finger. Take your crochet hook under the first, hook your second one, and pull under, then twist to lock it in place. Let me show you that again. Cross it over behind and hold with your thumb and pinky. Hook under, around, pull through, and twist to lock it in place. Once you have that, flip your fingers over, go under the left yarn, hook, and pull through. I have a little bit too tight here, but I will eventually get it. You can work it, work the, the circle out just a bit. It will loosen the loop and you can pull through. There we go. Your magic circle is complete. Now you can just untwist your tail end and start crocheting. To begin, I'm going to chain three. Okay, now I'm going to work into the magic circle. It's one, two, three chains. I'm going to double crochet into the magic circle. And I'm keeping the tail end of the magic circle inside of my crochet. And if you mess up, it's not a big deal. You can just pull it out and do it again. <laughs> uh, the beginning part, the part where you're crocheting into the magic circle is a little bit more difficult, but once you get the base down, it becomes a lot easier to work. And there you can see the first three chains are my first double crochet. I'm using that as my double crochet. And then my second double crochet is actually a double crochet. Now I'm going to chain two. And then I'll double crochet twice again. So each two double crochets will become the size of the hexagon and the two chains in between become the corners of those hexagons. So you can see here the space in between is the corner. Try that again. Okay. And here are my two double crochets. We have the two chains here and two more double crochets here. Again, those are the side corner and a second side. So we're just going to complete this two chains, two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets until we get six total sides 
to this hexagon. Here, let's lay it down. You can see that the edges are starting to take shape. So we have one, two, three sides. You can have you can see the distinct corners of the hexagon. And if you pull at the tail end of the magic circle, you can see that circle is getting smaller. That's what we're going to use later on to really tighten up that work and make it a nice hexagonal shape. That was the last two double crochets. And you can see my tail end for my magic circle is still here, but we need to chain two again to get that last corner. So let's do that now. Okay. Now that that's done, we're going to tighten our magic circle. If you pinch here, where my thumb and middle finger are, then you can just pull on the tail end and you can see that circle start to tighten. You pull it nice and tight and we will sew in that tail end later on. Look how small that circle is. Isn't that nice? You can see the distinct sides and once you add more rows the edges will become even clearer. Okay now let's join these. So we have our double crochet here and then the corner, but this corner still needs to join. So we're going to attach it here with a slip stitch. So this is the top of your initial three chains. Okay, first row is complete. And we have all six sides. We have our magic circle, it's nice and tight. One, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, let's get started on our second row. You do not need to flip it. We're just going to continue working around from this point. Second row starts same as the first with three chains. We're going to increase each row by two double crochets per side. So instead of the two on the like on the first row, we're going to end up with four per side on this second row. So double chain through your first row double chain. And then we are going to double chain through our corner stitch. So that's two. And then our third one is going to go straight through that corner stitch. Right through there. Double chain. And then we will two chain here again to make the corner. You'll notice here there's only three but at the end, once we get to the end of the row, we will fix that. Chain two. And we will double crochet into the same stitch as before. So into that corner stitch. And this will be this will be the first double crochet of the second side of the second row. We 
here's the corner and this is our first double crochet of that second side we'll double crochet again and I just skipped a stitch let's take that back out and try again there we go now I can see it go through right there double crochet here double crochet again and then your fourth double crochet you can see my three here your fourth one is going to go through that next corner piece here okay so you have those corner pieces now again with the two chains makes a corner piece you have one two three four double chains that will be your standard for the rest of this second row so it will be a double crochet in a corner two double crochets in the previous row double crochet stitches another double crochet in a corner two chains repeat once you get this basics down for the hexagon uh, you just add two double crochets per side so you can make this as large as you'd like I'm going to end up with a 10 double crochets per side for each of my hexagons which ends up being about two and a half inches per side that was the size I decided looked best for the blanket that I am creating All right, let's fast forward to the third row. I'm finishing up my last side here, the sixth side, with my final double crochet. There's my four double crochets that you can see. Two under the bottom for the first row, four for the second row. Okay, now that we've gotten back to side one, you can see one, two, three double crochets here so I need to chain two to get that corner piece again and then because we need four double crochets I need to crochet into that corner piece that makes my fourth double crochet now I will slip knot to join Perfect. Now that we have our second row complete, you can see the sides are a little more defined. Nice six sided hexagon, just like we want. And let's start on row three. To begin, you will chain three. double crochet into your next stitch double crochet into your next stitch and double crochet into the corner piece which is the two chains from the previous row you'll see our, for our first side we have one two three four for this row we need six total double crochets but again we'll finish those last two once we get around to the sixth side 
let's chain two and then double crochet into the corner piece and then the second side here is going to be the first one for the pattern for the rest of this row so the double crochet into the corner piece then double crochet into each stitch and a double crochet into the corner chain two and repeat Two, three, four. Need two more. This is my last stitch from the. Nope, I missed one. Miscounted. There it is. Four, oops, don't you love how easy crochet is to pull apart when you mess up? Five. Yep. Okay. So our last double crochet will be into that corner piece. And chain two and back into the corner piece with the double crochet and we'll continue that for the rest of this round. We just finished our final double crochet in the corner piece, chained two, double crochet in the corner piece again for your first initial side again. So if we look at the sides, we should have six double crochets per side. We have a corner here and a corner here. On this side we have one, two, three, four. On this side we have the fifth double crochet. So we need to add one more in this final stitch in between before we can join. Let's double crochet that here. And then combine with the sister stitch right next to it with a slip stitch. Sometimes the yarn just does not want to work with you. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Row three complete. Six per side. We have some nice corners 
looks good. So to start the next row, chain three, double chain in your next stitch, double chain again, double chain again. Your next stitch will be a double chain, double crochet into the corner piece, which is the two chains from your previous row. Now once that's done, chain two. This will begin, uh, this will create your corner piece for your next row. And we will continue this. Double crochet into the corner, double crochet into each previous row's double crochet then double crochet into the corner piece again, chain two, and repeat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect for this row. This is your fourth row. And let me show you what the finished product will look like. And this is actually the color that I'm using for my blanket, this beautiful bright yellow. But you can see the corner or the center with the magic circle. That's one, two, three, four, five rows. So on your fifth row, you'll have a total of 10 stitches. And you can see each side is roughly two and a half, maybe three inches wide at its widest from corner to corner and I've already weaved in my loose ends on this one so you can see how nice it looks once it's all complete so the edges are nice and defined corners are nice and defined and this is only my fourth row for this demonstration you can already see the the edges are lining up nicely We've made it back to the first side of this row now. So you can see I have eight stitches per side, except for the very first side that we started. One, two, three, four, five there, and one here. So we need to add two more stitches to make that eight. So we will double crochet to the first one, double crochet into the next, and now we will slip stitch into that final one. Okay, beautiful. And now I'm just going to go ahead and cap it at my fourth row for this demonstration. So I trimmed my end about five or six inches. Now I'm just going to pull through and I will weave in my ends. Let me grab my darning needle and I fold over the tail end to get it through the eye of the needle. This seems to work best for me. I'm just going to go. I like to weave my ends through the double crochet stitches. It tends to hide the woven ends a little bit better I find. So I'll go in one direction to keep that end nice and hidden. Pull out my, my working end here, or my 
tail end. Okay, now I will go down and through more double crochet stitches in an opposite direction. This locks those ends a little bit better so you don't need to worry about them coming undone. And now I can trim off that last little bit. Okay, and now we have the thread from the magic circle. I'm gonna make sure that's nice and tight just one more time. I'm gonna thread my darning needle again. Now I want to stitch it in in the direction of the magic circle initially. Once I get that through the first couple of stitches, I will go up into my double crochets. And however you want to do this is totally fine. I just find that those double crochets, like I said, they, they seem to hide the stitches, the woven ends, just a little bit better. You don't notice them as often. Not as easily. Alright, let's trim that end. And we are done. One down, only about 89 more to go for my blanket. <laughs> if I were doing it in this color. However, I'm doing it in that gorgeous bright yellow to make it a honeycomb. All right, let me show you how I plan to join my hexagons together. I have two of my yellow hexagons and they are ready to be joined so I'm going to attach them on one side right there. I'm going to flip them over so the corners match up nicely and let me grab my pale yellow thread. That's what I'm going to be using to attach them. I have my tail end coming out and I'm going to start by going through the top chains of both sides of the hexagon. So it's very critical that your very first stitch matches up because otherwise the entire hexagon will be offset. I'm just going to pull that initial yarn through and I grabbed my tail end so let's get that out of there. Okay, so now that I have a stitch on, I'm going to single crochet through the first and second hexagons and this will lock them together and I'm excited about this because it is meant to look like a honeycomb at the uh, once the project is complete so this pale yellow and it kind of makes a ridge on top of the the blanket it's going to kind of look like there's some more depth to it uh, if you wanted to do a double crochet here to make that ridge just a little bit higher, you could. But I didn't want it too high for this blanket. Just wanted to give it a little bit, a little bit of something extra. So I'm just going to continue with my single crochets through both sides until I get to the corner of this side. All right, 
And now that I'm to the corner, I'm going to trim my yarn and I'm going to pull through to lock it in place. So now you can see my tail's out of the way. You can see that nice little ridge. So it gives it just a little bit extra dimension. Not too much, but enough to, to tell the difference between the two. If you didn't want this, you could combine the hexagons with something like a whip stitch. If you don't want that extra dimension like I do. And then we'll need to weave in our ends, but I will end up having 10 hexagons per row. And then once I finish each row, I'll combine the second row like so. So I'll need to stitch here and here, and it'll end up going uh, zigzag with my rows. And here's my final layout. Uh, of course, I haven't finished with the single crochets to combine them. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you do, please like the video. And if you'd like to learn more about our beekeeping adventures, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing if you'd like to see more beekeeping videos and honeybee crafts like this blanket. And a special shout out to our members, Tall Cedars and Lori Silly. Thank you for your continued support. Adios.